hi everyone i'm chimbe from alicia creations and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to make this ruana um it's a perfect uh project for autumn as it's getting cold here in the southern hemisphere the pattern is a one size fits most so i'll only be making one size but before i continue if you haven't subscribed hit the subscri subscription button and turn on notifications so you're notified when i post new patterns the stitch i'm going to use is a single crochet and an elongated single crochet to form a spike stitch and i will be showing you the details of the stitches in the tutorial the finished size of the project is 102 centimeters by 152 centimeters the project will be made in two pieces uh, each piece being 51 centimeters by 76 centimeters the gauge is eight rows 10 centimeters and 10 stitches is 10 centimeters but don't worry about the gauge because it's a loose fitting material and if you miss it by one or two it's it, it's, it's still going to be okay so don't worry about it if you're looking for the written pattern um, you can find it in the description box below you can find it on my Etsy store then I'm going to use this chunky yarn and I have 800 gram balls of the main color which is a brown the red, the orange, and the cream are scrap yarns I thought I could use to um, embellish the project. And you're also going to need a darning needle, uh, a pair of scissors, and stitch markers when you're joining your work. So to begin, I'm going to start with a slip knot. And then... I'm going to make a chain of 181 stitches. So make a chain of 181 stitches and I'm going to see you at the end of the chain. So my chain is complete and I'm going to start by making a single crochet in the second stitch from hook which is insert, pull over, yarn over and pull through two. It's a really simple stitch and I'm going to continue with the same stitch in all the stitches so insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two insert yarn over pull through yarn over two and you're going to continue working the stitch until the end of the row and I will meet you at the end of the row so i'm at the end of the row the first row and then as you can see it's done and then i'm going to chain one turn the work and then work another row of single crochet a normal single crochet so i'm just going to work another row of single crochet in all the 180 stitches and i am going to see you at the end of the row. Once I'm at the end, I join my yarn and then chain one and turn. And then I'm going to start with a single crochet and then make an elongated single crochet to form the spike stitch, which is a single crochet in the first row. So you don't make it in the row that you normally work in but you're going to the first row underneath go to the row underneath so you make a normal single crochet but underneath and it makes a, f a spike and then the next stitch I'm going to do a single crochet and then in the next stitch a an elongated single crochet to form a spike stitch so throughout the row I'm just going to alternate by making a single crochet and then 
an elongated single crochet and you just continue like that until the end of your row and I'm going to see you at the end of the row once you get to the end of the row you finish with a single crochet and then you chain one and then turn your work the next row will just be a normal single crochet row so you're just going to do a normal single crochet in all the stitches until the end and I'm going to see you at the end of the row and then the next thing you're going to do sorry the angle is not good is join the second the third color which is orange and then chain one and then turn your work and then we're going to single crochet and make an elongated single crochet so we're basically repeating row three so single crochet and then an elongated single crochet and you're going to do that until the end of the row and you're going to continue until the end of the row with the alternating a spike stitch and a single crochet and I'm going to see you at the end of this row at the end of the row you're going to chain one turn your work and then work a row of single crochet and this will be the end of the first part of color three so you're just going to work single crochets until the end and I'll see you at the end of the row at the end of the row you join um, color 4 which is the cream join and then chain 1 and just repeat exactly what you did with color 2 and color 3 by starting with a spike stitch row which is a single crochet and then an elongated single crochet a single crochet and then an elongated single crochet and just continue until the end and once again at the end of the row you chain one turn and then work a row of single crochets work a row of single crochet and I'll see you at the end of the row look at the spikes they are forming and they look all nice at the end of the row you're going to join color one which is the brown which is your main color and then you're going to work a spike stitch row which is you always start with a single crochet and then work is an elongated single crochet a single crochet and an elongated single crochet and then you're just gonna go on and continue until the end of the row after this row you've done the first part of the spike stitch so you're just gonna finish with um, an elongated single crochet and this is how your work is going to look like and from here we're just going to work single crochets from this row until row 57 just normal single crochets from this row and uh, row 57 so i'm going to see you at the end of row 57 So I'm now done with my rows. I'm now on row 57. This is row 58. I join color 4. So we're just going to do a reverse of how we did the other side. So we're going to 
start with color four and of course as usual start with the elongated single crochet and then continue in the same manner so single crochet and then elongated single crochet in the next one so that's the spike stitch row and I'll see you at the end of the row and then as previously at the end you do your final single crochet chain one and then turn your work and then work a row of single crochets as per previous So basically what I'm going to do here is rework the spike stitch back, uh, in backwards color. So we're going to start with the cream, the orange, and then the red. And then you can get off to go work the other two colors. And I will see you at the end of uh, the red color. Once you're done with the color two, you join back your color one and then chain one and work a spike stitch row across. So we're gonna work a spike stitch row across. We start with a single crochet, then the elongated single crochet and just continue until the end of the row and i will see you at the end of the row to explain what to do next at the end of the spike stitch of color one you chain one and then we're just going to work four rows of single crochet and then that will be the end of the first piece so just work four rows of single crochet and this part will be the outside part of the ruana. So just work four rows of single crochet from here on and I will see you when I'm joining the two pieces together. Once you're done with your two pieces, lay them flat uh, aligned together and place a stitch marker and join the two pieces on the 90th stitch when you lay them flat your inside should be the beginning part of the piece and your outside should be the ending part of the piece so lay it flat and then put a stitch marker and we're going to join we're going to join the one half of the two pieces and we'll leave the other half open and that will be the open front you join your yarn at the corner of your wanna and then slip stitch into the other piece And then we're going to join by doing a single crochet through both pieces at the same time. So insert, pull over, yarn over and pull through. And do it in every stitch until you've done 90, you've worked 90 stitches. And that will be the end of your work. You can use any color combinations you can um you can see there it's um nice and neat you can use any color combinations it's a perfect project to use some scrap yarn um as the other um yarn colors and yeah that's it and when you're done with your 90 stitches that's it cut your ends and weave in whatever is left so 
so there you have it the autumn ruana um using a single crochet spice stitch is finished uh thank you for watching and until next time bye